Hello folks and thanks for watching, we're sharing with phoenix.co.uk and today I'm going to be showing you our Yamaha U1 upright piano in a black polyester case with 88 notes, three pedals with the middle pedal of course being a practice pedal. This one uh, is on our eBay auctions, however you will be talking here, me and our team start to talk more about our piano auctions and guitar auctions that we will be doing on our own website and here again at Sherwood Phoenix Mansfield starting again in November so if you're interested in buying a piano in an auction style then we will certainly be doing more and more of that moving forward um, yeah but more about this piano Yamaha U1 black polyester case um, if you're looking for a U1 then this is probably going to be a bargain for you uh, we do have quite a few U1s and U3s and many other Yamahas and some Kawais in stock at the minute you're welcome to come down and try some pianos with us we're here Monday to Saturday and 10 to 5.30 and any other time by appointment and uh, we've also got the new shop in Nottingham as well to talk about which is really exciting uh, we open tomorrow which is the 11th of October um, we're happy to see you down there as well let me play this over to you, here we go Yes folks, best way to try it is come down and have a shot yourself, but again if you want any more in-depth demonstrations do get in contact with us and we'll do our best. Now for those of you that have stayed this far into the video, um, I'm now going to take you a quick uh, tour around the showroom. Um, let me just get the camera off of the, uh, off of the stand and let's go. I, I'll not give you the, I'll not, I'll not turn this around and show you. Uh, this Scottish face of mine, it's, you see enough of that, um, enough of it to frighten you probably. Um, let's see, so as you can see, um, this one here, lot 25, um, we have lot 24, we have, this. some of this stuff is currently on our website and basically we are um, holding what's going to be our first auction of this year and we'll be having many, many other auctions following that. Um, so our first auction we're hoping to have in November. And when I say hoping to, what I really mean is we are having it in November and uh, we're just about to solidify the actual date and then you will see us marketing for the auction. So it's an exciting time for us and it's an exciting time to come and buy pianos in an exciting fashion, which is by way of auction. It's something I've always enjoyed. I'll take you downstairs. Um, there's we like to call Marchie, Big Archie, looking after the place. I know a couple of people have been interested in this little piano, and the answer has been uh, we don't have a price for it. However, the owner has decided decided that auction is how he wants to sell it. So it's going to auction. So for anyone that's actually seen that little piano and shown an interest, um, <coughs> feel free to come down and. Have a try and put a bid in. Uh, for anyone that's not seen this or maybe hasn't got the ability to come to the showroom, uh, this is some amazing ELO Bev Bevan memorabilia. And I say ELO Bev Bevan. Um, it actually came from Bev um, himself. We bought it directly from Bev. And it's been a fantastic, uh, a fantastic and really enjoyable purchase. But it's just an exhibition piece here at Sherwood Phoenix and partly what we do. Um, more, more than just a more than just a piano showroom. It's really uh, a collection. Some of it personal to myself, and some of it just for the enjoyment of uh, for, for our customers as well to enjoy whilst they're here, um, including things like uh, the motorbikes and the Maxwell, uh, the Mini, and uh, many other kind of artifacts that you do see at our showroom. Uh, 
As some of you might or might not know, we have got Museum Motors, which has started off with being a collection of one or two cars here, and we had a couple of people ask if we if the cars were for sale, and we, we always just said no, but the cars are now for sale as part of the collection at Sherwood Phoenix, along with um, the artwork as well, and yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all good fun. Obviously our first love and our first profession is pianos and will always remain pianos. But um, as, as it's kind of transpired over the years, the, the building's lent itself to some some other things um, and uh, by by way of just natural progression, um, we, we've almost accidentally sold things uh, without trying. So as you might have heard me saying earlier on, with part of the auction, um, we won't just be doing um, the piano auctions element of our auction, it will be piano and guitar in this first auction. This is the guitars that we will be auctioning off, uh, along with the amps as well. So if, if you're maybe a, a guitarist whilst you're a piano player, then it's going to be a pretty, pretty cool event. Um, and it'll be a pretty cool event that we'll be holding on a regular basis. Uh, some really exciting stock. Who's that? It's Dean just came through the door. Um, some exciting stock that's came to us recently, some of which you've maybe seen on our social media. Uh, Steinway Model D, which is an absolutely incredible piano. Um, the Bosendorfer uh, Concert Grand as well, and the Pyramid Mahogany Case, and the Inlay, Shadow to Inlay. It's an absolutely fabulous, fabulous piano. In fact, probably one of my favourite pianos of all time there was a couple that have rivaled it over the years but this is just there's something about this piano it's got a lot of character um i, I don't know it's hard hard to explain you if you if you're ever in the market for a big piano then i'd certainly come down and try this because it's it, it's a real force to be reckoned with um and a very stylish bluffner style four um which we've ha recently had completed by Paul Everett and his fantastic team over at Piano Restorations. Yeah, so, little tour. Um, just thought I would add that on to the end of the video there. I'm actually, the next video I'm actually going to do is just a tour on its own, but it's not everyone that maybe comes across uh, what we do have here. And we do we do get told regularly by customers that do visit that people should people should see this and people should be should get an opportunity to come down and all the rest of it so for those of you that maybe don't manage it down you're certainly more than welcome um but if you can't then this is this is the best we can do we do actually have another floor which has approximately 200 rare and vintage guitars in it um but we have a customer up there just now and uh we'll, we'll, we'll like to give him his privacy so thanks again for watching folks that's paul crosby <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see you soon. All the best.